Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome to my bedroom as I am playing catch up today on all the shows and that includes returning to Lucifer season where we are three three season three episode 16. It feels as if we've been on this journey forever and I'm hoping now we get back onto the purpose of season three, which is the Kane situation. Lucifer said he's going to go back to when it started? Some of y'all said it doesn't mean time travel. What does that mean? <laughs> Guess we'll have to watch to find out. Okay, so I'm going to get into my cozy comfy spot. I hope you are as well. You're gonna remember full episode watch along is available on Patreon where I'm watching other things such as Resident Alien and I just started the last season of Grit. British baking show. If you want somebody to watch the baking show with, we can watch it together. Oh, uh, what else do I have? Okay, so I have my water to stay hydrated and I busted out an old fashioned because why? Why not? I had it in the pantry. <laughs> Let me know what you're drinking. Let me know where you are. And if you're watching me on Patreon, thank you. Let's sync up and get to it. <laughs> I have done some research. I've read every book. I've analyzed every language. I'm completely- That sounds distinctly American. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time, there were two brothers. Two brothers, we're getting into this. They fought. We're yes, finally getting into this. I remember everything. 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 Are we shaking hands or holding spiders? Or... <laughs> That's you and your brother pummeling each other over a pet rock. The point is that you were always at each other's throats. Why? We all know how your story ends, but. Do we? Sort of. What if? You never killed Abel. Clean slate. That's impossible. How would we do that? I shall fly down to hell, pluck your brother's soul, and drop it into a vacant Question. Body. This would mm -hmm. be Abel technically alive and therefore not murdered, and you innocent. Uh-uh. That, that my brother is in hell? That's my question. In fact, he's our oldest tenant. I knew it. Do you know how many times I've tried to tell people, <laughs> Abel is the asshat. No one ever believes me. Why is Abel in hell? No crime, no mark. I don't think that's how it works. You'd be mortal and can finally die. I think Cain is, is supposed to be a lesson for us all, and if it does... You have done this before, right? Not exactly, but based on a sample size of huh, one crooked cop and one goddess, I can only drop a soul into someone who's recently died. And that went so well. We need a fresh one. Hey guys, there's been an explosion at a high-rise downtown. There's one dead at the scene, one on the way to the ICU. Oh, that's promising. Okay, we'll work the crime scene. Lucifer? <laughs> Lucifer's coming with me this time. This is the plan. Shall we? This is the plan? Looks like the bomb came by messenger, and uh, an assistant opened the package triggering the bomb. Oh. Is that the assistant wasn't the target. The package was addressed to her boss. Where were you when the blast occurred? At home. My Tuesday session with Paolo, my Pilates trainer. You have any idea who'd want to hurt you? Paolo, my Pilates trainer. <laughs> Tends to be how this show works. This is Hollywood. I get way more hate mail than fan mail. Did any one threat stand out at all? Uh, my assistant will know. Brie Garland. But Brie is dead? She's in the ICU, but we haven't heard word yet. Brie Garland, she won't do at all. Right, well, if we pop Abel hmm. into a body this young, he could be stuck with him for another 70 years. So after all of this millennia, Cain hasn't felt bad taking any responsibility for his actions during the events. No next of kin. Perfect. Yes, we'll put Abel in this old coat. So, Lucifer, how are you going to hell? With your wings? Enjoy the show, Dad. So his wings a lot. His wings are his key to hell. Was that? Was that? Did I miss that part? <gasps> Wrong body. Did you put him in the right place? Probably. What do you mean, probably? Well, like I said, I'm new to this, but where else would I have dropped him? Lucifer. These two are the Keystone Cops. 
Mark is still there, which means I'm still cursed. We failed. Maybe because you need to atone. Is that the key? Cain's never atoned, so therefore he's never been able to die? Hmm. <laughs> Maybe this is the wrong drink to be having during this episode. Now, he's your brother. Where'd you think he'd go? I don't know. We're not exactly in touch. It's been a few millennia. It's been a few millennia. The world looks a little bit different. The good news is I do know a demon or two. Come on. Who knew a producer could have this many enemies? You should. <laughs> your mother did not tell you stories? You're going to die. I do believe we have a winner. Wait, Alexa made the plunge? Have you seen it? Oh, man. A group of teens, they have to travel to the center of the earth, unclog this blocked up magma. Oh, man. <laughs> Because the teens can do that. <laughs> Whoever wrote this letter wants people to read the Z prophecy. The visionary Liam Wade authored the Z prophecy and a whole bunch of other conspiracy theories. Wow. Seems pretty bonkers. Check out his manifesto. <gasps> he has a manifesto! No recovered memories so far. Just flatulence. Who? I was hoping that mm. you had some uh, memory jogging techniques. You do realize you can't win at therapy. No, oh, please. There's no end. There is no end. Your desire to win tells me you have a strong need for control. You say that you keep reliving the same thing over and over. Is it like, say... Burning a hole <laughs> in my wall shooting at me? An endless, horrible loop? I know this is scary, but it's where we need to start. In your hell. No, that's the last thing I need, and not what I asked you for at all. I know you're used to being in charge, but I'm the expert here. Drive me crazy so that you can get me hooked on therapy and milk me for every cent. Mmm, she's projecting. So what, what, did we, did we know what Charlotte's hell was? Oh God, Abel. <laughs> you never forget your first. So your help was fine in then. Did you know that Abel was the first soul in hell? Mm, an infernal guinea, that's pig, now. so to speak. Ooh, that's where the name of this came from. You were the star of Abel's hell loop. No matter what he did, you'd always show up and kill him. How do we find Abel? Keep you an ear out for someone babbling in Sumerian? Oh, no, no, he speaks English and all the romance languages. <laughs> How? Me and the other demons would get bored, so we switch out the hell loop. It would always be you killing him, but different times, different places. So what you're saying is hell made him multilingual and completely adaptable. And we put him in the body of a young woman. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Okay. <laughs> this may just feel like another hell loop to him. He may have no oh. idea he's actually alive again. Do you know who he reminds me of? Total poon hound. Ask yourself, where would caveman Lucifer go? Ladies, let's be fruitful and multiply, huh? Allow me to bless you with my seat. That is how Abel talked. Millennia ago. <laughs> Kill this nut job to put in a driveway. He's a conspiracy theorist. How do you all know you're not walking into a trap? When he started here, no one wanted to work with him. And I spent all this time training him, and Pierce just swoops in and grabs him. It's not cool. Right. Possessive much? Mm-hmm. Uh, both of them. Lucifer's still your partner. Why? Uh-huh. You're walking into a booby trap. It's not a spider. You're not warning him ahead of time? It's a sniper. What? Yeah, Chloe, just be calm and say, don't move. Leave now. Did you send this note to Alexa Lee? This note that incriminates you into a bombing? <laughs> what, is, what is this? Okay, I need, to, I need to stop. I need to stop thinking so hard. We're here because of a recent attempt on Alexa's life. Why do you think I would want to hurt Alexa? Well, for starters, in the note, you said that she was going to die. 
I wrote her a wake-up call. About what? Well, I'm glad you asked, ma'am. You see, our planet's magma flows are blocked. Right. I saw the movie. And I kind of dug the plunge. Seriously? A jock, a nerd, and a princess save the planet? I mean, come on. It was fun. Saving the Earth is not fun. Magma foes are not fun. I actually kind of owe her. Guess who has 196 more Twitter followers since the plunge premiered? Woohoo! Oh, 196. Lexa had a lot of enemies. Big Agra, And he would know that. Big Frack. The Bolivians. Oh, oh that's why. Carnies. Oh. Carnies. Carnies. The Carnies. What type of movies did she produce? Did we ever f find out if it was just. This is the land of milk and honey. <gasps> Amenadils found him quickly. I've wow. Been watching you, Abel. That was what? Now I'm here to take you back to where you belong. Does no not mean no anymore? Abel, have you seen yourself lately? <laughs> oh, are those bosoms mine? So that's why none of those men folk heard a word I said. Doesn't all this feel familiar? <laughs> it's your hell hoop. <laughs> yes. Every time I seek out revelry, my brother arrives. He kills me. I've tried everything. Fighting him, running from him, all in vain. But didn't try not seeking out revelry? You can't fight him. But I may have a way out of this for you. Wait, what? Wait. You want me to kill myself? Well, I've never tried that before. Here, now, wait, what? Well, Dad's an old school kind of guy, right? Eye for an eye and all that. So in order to make things truly even, Stephen, Abel has to kill me. Mm -hmm. Which way do you think you're headed? It'd be ironic if you went to all this trouble just to end up in a hell loop. <laughs> hell is all about your own guilt torturing you, right? Right. My conscience is clear. <laughs> is it? Yeah. Listen, Abel wanted to kill me just as much as I wanted to kill him. Why do you think he's in hell? I'm just a guy who won the fight. Where would I and therefore Abel go next? Wherever she's going. Liam told the truth. No trace of explosive compounds in the farm or much else. <laughs> this case is like I'm not interested in all. <laughs> Give me back to the Cain and Abel thing. Bolivian crime organizations. <laughs> You're not taking Liam seriously, are you? <laughs> okay, don't. All right, Ella got back to me with her bomb report. It was made from fertilizer that's banned in the U.S., but guess where it's still hmm. being used? Bolivia. Bolivia! No way. <laughs> These names are linked up to the Bolivian drug cartel. Yes, this old fashioned is hit me hard. I say. Well, that's handy. One of the Bolivian contractors landed in LA this morning. <laughs> what is with that photo? What is with that photo? I know you can do it, Abel. And he he's here, just here. This is handy. <sighs> Wait, how do you know all of this? No! That's her. What? Wait, what? What are you doing here? Where'd he go? I mean, where did she go? I don't know. You actually thought that I would just sit around while you two idiots were raising Abel? How did he know they were raising Abel, though? You seriously not realize just how dangerous it is to anger father. I'm trying to pay attention. Cowering from him is your jam, remember? It's not you that I am trying to prove my worth to. I'm gonna find Abel and send him back to where he belongs. So how did Bree, Bree Abel, notice, was, were they shooting at a minute deal? Or at the hit guy? The Bolivian cartel wants to kill Bree. Why? Don't know. There's no keeping this from Decker anymore. I'll let you, Santa. So it's quarter to one. Okay, I have a feeling that's supposed to mean something. That's it? Well, you're not going to tear him a new one. Come on, I've got much worse <laughs> for much less. It's her boss. I'm going to yell at my boss, even if he <laughs> lost our witness twice. Oh, because you've got a soft spot for him. Yes. 
Well, I still don't understand. Why does the Bolivian cartel want a Hollywood assistant dead? Well, that's the missing piece. So we should find out what Alexa knows. I'll track down Bree. I need to find him before... You mean her? I need to find her before the cartel does. What is happening here? <laughs> she fled from the ER. No one's heard from her. How is that possible? I, I was told she suffered fatal internal injuries. Mm-hmm. You could say she's like a new man. We're doing everything we can to make sure she's safe. What? Oh, yes, yes, of course, that too. But I need her back so bad. She knows everything. An assistant you depend on? Yes, I do, actually. Because she knows everything. I don't even know how to call out of the office. Wow. She doesn't care her assistant was at death's door. She just cares that she can't work her business without her assistant. Right, well, I'm going to need to see any documented interactions you have with these investors. Absolutely. They're in there. Oh, right. Only Bree's fingerprint can unlock it. Bree installed a biometric lock <laughs> in the bio cabinet. Of course she did. What did she have to hide? <laughs> Two recent incoming wires for 50 grand each, both from South American Bank. Bingo. So Bree was embezzling from that useless boss of hers. <laughs> Who can blame her? Does loyalty mean nothing to you? <laughs> Alexa gave Bree her first job in Hollywood. She trained her. You don't just ditch that. Oh, jeez, Chloe's... Chloe's making things personal. Bolivian drug lord comes around, okay? You, you don't, you don't. <laughs> Dan, if Bree bolted from the ER, maybe she left some things behind, like her phone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think she left everything behind. All right, I'm gonna see if Pierce had any luck finding Bree. Oh, well, he won't need any luck. He's got something far better than that. Decker's right. <laughs> cute, but a mid-bounty. Lucifer told me to tell you this is exactly the opposite of what Amenadiel wants. <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> How do we find him? <laughs> he always runs to food or boobs. Now he has boobs. That might change his itinerary. Oh, yeah. Well, every now and again, the sucker would do something I never saw coming. Hello, Kane. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> OK, this is going to work. This is going to work. And Bree found this out quick. What the hell? Wait, what? Yes! Oh, finally! Slayed you before you slay me! Oh! Enjoy it while it lasts, Abel. How do you know my name? Mmm. May still has. Oh no, it didn't work! It didn't work. Thanks for the heads up. You said you wanted to die. Make up your mind, cupcake. <laughs> Mark is still there. Please don't. <laughs> I need you alive so you can help me die. Wait, what? <laughs> it has to be a trick. You always kill me. That was when you were in hell. You're alive, brother. <laughs> Turns out Abel killing you didn't remove the mark. Mm -hmm. Right, yes, I got that from the whole you still being alive of it all. <laughs> It's now time for Plan C. <laughs> I didn't realize C? we had one. We don't. Oh, yeah, this is it. This is it and hard. Precinct going to help, much as I'm enjoying his basic in. <laughs> Man spreading. First things first, we have to make sure the Bolivians don't kill him. <laughs> Bree, I'm Detective Decker. Oh, no. Charlotte Richards from the DA's office. Oh, no. Yes. Woman, I will waive whatever you want me to waive. Notice some PTSD symptoms, so we should just go roll with it if we can. How much does Bree remember? Not as big as my flock. Do you know how many sheep I possess? Flock. Enough for two wives. Yeah. Well, as impressive as your flock sounds, let's get back to the deal. <laughs> You share all the information you have on the Bolivian cartel in exchange for immunity. And the full protection of the LAPD. Yes. Sure. Whatever those words mean, no. <laughs> uh, don't you want to read the terms of the deal, at least? What for? I've been told you're very wise. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to let us drive this, just completely give up control. <laughs> Doesn't that scare you? 
Oh, oh gosh, no, no, we've got a, a Charlotte thing now. I would do anything oh, no. to avoid returning to that hell. If you'd been there, you would do the same. And she was there. Mm, you smell good. <laughs> she smells like hell should be familiar to April. <laughs> What now? I'm gonna do what are you doing now? It's time for you to go home, Abel. It wasn't easy for me to track oh, you down. Oh, Jesus. Not away from me this time. Wait. What the? Me, my punching bag. Look familiar. What are you doing here? Keeping out of Lucifer's way. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Wait. I don't want to fight you, Magic King. I'm confused. Wait. Are they what you want. at her house? Mazikeen, what are you doing? Isn't that where she lives? What is... <laughs> hey, Dan, do you have any luck finding Bree's phone? No, because guess who collected her stuff from the hospital? <gasps> Alexa! Alexa! Is there a bomb? It's like she knew to be out of the office. She knew the bomb was coming. And yeah. Because the bomb is in the drawer. Maybe Bree found out what they were up to and wanted to blow the whistle. And when the nice way didn't work, they tried the not so nice way. Well, hopefully the proof is behind drawer number one. Why would Alexa send us straight to the place where we find proof of her crimes? It makes no sense. No. Nope. 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 Bree, wait. Nope. Mm-hmm. Decker, you need to get out of there, stat. I'm not going anywhere, Lieutenant. What do you mean you're not going anywhere? You need to get out of there now. No. Chloe would never what happened to you do that. Lieutenant? You call the shots. There is an innocent victim yes. glued to a bomb. Chloe would never leave that. I'm not leaving. Oh, my flock is your flock, this I swear. <laughs> Lieutenant, I understand why your priority is to save your... This young woman, but I will not let you endanger the detective's life in the process. He's not endangering my life. I am choosing to be here. And if you're not going to help, you should probably just leave. Well, we both know I'm not going to do that. I'm your partner. Mm -hmm. Unless Chloe goes away and Lucifer can, can do it without being armed. Damn. That did not seem far enough away. I think that means you can take your thumb off now. I think that means. <laughs> Don't tell us where you want to put it next. Up your butt! <laughs> and then, I'll press the button. I don't even understand why you're so angry. She's still angry about Linda. You dumped me. Mm -hmm. It's not about that. It's about the betrayal. We were trying to protect you. Maze doesn't understand protection. Fine. <laughs> Fine? Wait. Okay. 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 Come on! It's no fun if you just stand there. It's about as much fun as watching you break Linda's heart, I'd say. <sighs> Even this, you had to ruin. Mm hmm. This episode is crazy pants. Thank you. Did anyone send out any any officers after Alexa? Apparently she was using her movies to launder money for the cartel. And that's what Brie was trying to expose. Oh. I just wanted to say thank you again. I couldn't have done it without you. Without me? You wouldn't have been in danger in the first place. Mm, he keeps saying that. I'm a bit of a control freak. Ah, really? <laughs> but you're right, you're the expert. And I should trust you. And as scary as that is, there's something much scarier. Hell. I, uh, I wake up. I have breakfast with my family. Uh, we're happy. And then a man walks in and shoots each of them. And I know this man because he's somebody that I represented. And I know that he should be in jail, but he's not because of me. I just smile. Well, my family is killed. I'm the reason that he's free. And then I wake up. It's a new morning. 
New coffee. You smell the same coffee. This time it's a different person. And I die inside again. I don't know what it'll take to stay out of that place. And she was only there for a few months, weeks. I'm trying my best, but I don't know if it'll be enough. It's a lot of ledger to clear. Thank you for saving my life, Kane. Suppose we're even now. God, what now? This whole time you've been in a kind of hell too. I'm sorry. I'm sorry too, brother. Your face is still the face of my torturer. I guess we still need some space. Well, that was... And she just goes. I know I promised to help you end your curse, but I'm afraid we need to dissolve our unholy alliance. What? I mean, I don't mind putting myself in danger, but the detective... But you're the devil, you always keep your word. I do. So I hope you understand how difficult a decision this was. Wait. He always keeps his word. What happens if he doesn't keep his word? Abel's how my curse started. He's got to be the way it ends. As long as he's alive, I still have hope. Okay. What the fuck just happened? Oh okay. One, that old fashioned's hitting hard. And two, okay. Lucifer always keeps his word. Now he has said, I promise to help you, Cain, but I cannot any longer. What will that mean going forward? Don't tell me. But it should have a consequence. And if it doesn't have a consequence, then that's lazy storytelling. But it should have a consequence what that consequence is who knows hmm. so Bree dies with Abel's soul Abel now goes to hell El Abel what the hell that was not <laughs> that was not the Abel from millennia ago I was expecting to see yeah so the, st the story of Cain and Abel a little bit familiar with but I believe was supposed to be the tale to warn us to not kill <laughs> you're not <laughs> Cain's punishment was so great you're not supposed to kill outright murder <laughs> yeah I think that was the big thing I was missing is that through all these years of Cain walking the earth I don't get a sense that he is atoning for his part of what happened of course now what happened and what they claimed happened could be two different things, but it was so great that God punished you this severely. You are not guiltless in this. I would think so. The fact that he didn't, it doesn't feel like he's sorry for it is probably why he hasn't died. And now Cain, Abel has, Abel's mortal coil has now been shed. Abel now goes to hell and it, Abel was the first occupant of hell? I can't wrap my mind around that. But the fact that we indirectly folded Charlotte's tail into here, great. She didn't want to face her hell loop. I forgot she was in a hell loop, or maybe I didn't realize she was in a hell loop for the few weeks she was not in her own body. She was in a hell loop and it did bring up a really interesting question that I've had many, many times myself when thinking about like a defense attorney in the United States, you are entitled to have somebody defend you. But if you are the person that defends somebody that you know has done wrong, that you know is not a good person and you try to get them free, what does that do to your soul? What type of person does that make you? How do you, you either disassociate and you yourself embody a level of evilness to you? I don't know if I'm phrasing this correctly, 
But yeah, what does that do to you over time? And it obviously in this, in this Charlotte's case, sent her to hell over and over where her family is murdered by the people she knew were guilty and got to be let free. Fascinating. I'm asking this rhetorically, don't answer me. Will she ever remember her time as the goddess and does the goddess ever come back? And how, how much, and I'm guessing if, she, so I'm guessing she doesn't remember anything that the goddess did because she was in hell the entire time. So she wouldn't remember. Her body may remember reflexively, but I don't think she will ever remember. Hmm. So the Cain and Abel situation still not resolved. So we're still going forward with that. I guess the only way to find out is to keep watching. Eventually, sometime soon. Oh my gosh. Okay. So very interesting episode 16. I'm not sure we brought Abel into it and that didn't work. So where do we go next? Does Cain just become resolved in living forever? Don't tell me the answer. I'm going to find out soon. Especially if you hit subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it because I do want you to be here with me when I find out what happens. So until next time, this is just my reminder for you to stand up if it's been a while. I have to remind myself to stand up if it's been a while. Stretch, breathe, go get something to eat, and then come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, you all, and until next time. <laughs>